uh, today's video is gonna be a little bit different uh, I'm not sharing a solution in reality I'm sharing a problem I have some workarounds here that I'm not happy with so think of this video as a conversation here let me show you what I mean I bet most if not all Evernote users take this notes list for granted but this is so clever look I can see all my notes here and still have access to this sidebar and if I go to uh, let's say a different notebook here now this has all the notes inside that notebook I can't remember any other app that behaves like this maybe one note but it's been so many years I used uh, OneNote for the last time, so I don't know if it has this. And here we can go even deeper if I use a tag. I can filter to see only notes with that tag inside that notebook. And again, I don't lose access to this sidebar here. If we go to Obsidian, oh, by the way, these accounts are uh, the ones I use uh, to record the videos they are not my real accounts and they don't have all the notes I have in my real accounts but this one the Apple 2 e folder and here the Apple 2 e notebook in Evernote they have the same notes I have in my real account so if I click here I, I, I just lost access to all the other folders my workaround here is creating subfolders like this one manual and this other one for the, the, the monitor. These folders, they are mimicking the tags behavior in Evernote. I know that Obsidian also has tags, but the problem is the same. If I if I look for a tag here, tag, let's choose one here. For example, this one here. First, it's not a list. And again, there's no sidebar. Here, let's do the same in Evernote. It's a completely different experience. <laughs> and again, I, I still have access to this sidebar. So these subfolders are working as my tag. Let me show you here. See, again, this is so, of course I can click here, but <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is what I, I came up with. Uh, I'm testing this uh, here on this account. And again, I don't have all there. This is just, uh, a sample of what I have in my real account. So just imagine all these subfolders with a lot of notes like the Apple IIe folder there. And the size of the list is not the only problem I have. For example, I, I don't know if this is... It's easier for me to understand if I have a, 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 a folder called Agile and insert in, in a subfolder Lean and Scrum. Sometimes I want to add Kanban here but it's not really right <laughs> it's easier to understand it's easier to find the information but this grouping has its own problems because there are some articles that i read that are about kanban and also about scrum and that would be something that a tag would fix if i search for kanban or for scrum i would see the same article in both tags because the, the article has both tags okay future me here editing the video this was not clear so here's the explanation i know that i can use tags in obsidian just like i use in evernote but not all my documents are inside notes most of them like i explained in this video the articles they are pdfs inside the folders and there's no way to tag a pdf so there's no way to filter using tags okay back to the video using subfolders creates this division creates this categorization forces a categorization i have to think about one of the two folders and and maybe that will create a problem in the future maybe i won't be able to find that uh file because i'm looking uh, inside the wrong folder another thing i'm trying is the data view uh plugin and i'm creating lists based on the tags uh, let me show you what i mean so let's create a new note here adt pro okay and here data vl list from here it is adt pro and sort ascending 
Okay, now I have a list, but the PDFs will never be here because I cannot tag PDFs. And where should I put this lists notes inside the folder, the Apple IIe folder, or should I create a folder with the lists? And there's another problem. This is alphabetically order and maybe I want a different order. I know that I can change that uh, using the data view plugin, but uh, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> It's, it, it's not as simple as just s switching to a different list. Two levels here separates the information. So I, I will always have access to this while using this. And this will never happen here. I, I, I keep it. <laughs> it's this. It's everything in the same place. So uh, there's no way to see a list and at the same time see a list of my folders and at the same time see a list of the files inside that folder. I, I guess this is what I'm trying to say. And if I'm being honest, this doesn't add friction. It's easy to jump from one place to another and see everything I'm working on. And this file structure adds friction. It's everything's here <laughs> in the same list. Anyway, I usually finish these videos asking for a thumbs up if you found the video useful, helpful. I guess this one was neither, <laughs> but I would love your thumbs up. And if you have a solution, maybe there is a plugin. Uh, I would love to, to know how you do it, how you, 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 you filter or, or search for your notes or create your lists. And in a way, it's a problem I like to have. I, I like to think about these things and try to figure out a solution. So in a way, I'm also happy. <laughs> anyway, if what I do here on the channel is something that usually helps you, I'd appreciate if you consider becoming a YouTube member, a Patreon member, or even buying me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.